welcome to my kitchen. It's garden time. Oh, my favorite time. I'm going to make the simplest, easiest, and one of the very best salads. Now I keep this in my, it's a cucumber and onion salad. Uh, I keep this in my refrigerator. Once the cucumbers start coming on, it's here to stay. If I can get this lined up. Um, because I love cucumbers and I love onions and put them together. Hey, you've got it baked. I know my uh, great-grandchildren love cucumbers. I've got three of them that are from the age four to five, two four-year-olds and a five-year-old. When they come, they go straight to the garden. Then they'll come in and see Grandma and Grandpa. Sometimes we get out there before they come in because they're usually fighting over the cucumbers. They love them. They pick them and then they'll keep picking them, but they'll be eating one of them. They won't even give me time to take it in the house and wash it. So, it's sometimes hard for me to get too many cucumbers at a time. So I try to make this because this here, I keep in my refrigerator all summer. As long as I have cucumbers, it's in my fridge. Sometimes I add more uh, vinegar and sugar and stuff to it. Sometimes because it's been in there a month and uh, we bake down on it. But this is one of the easiest and best salads. I come in from working in the garden a lot of times and uh, I'm tired, I'm hot, and I just want something. I drank my water, that didn't do it, so I'll grab a small dish of this and eat it. So it's not something that you have to have for a meal. We have it sometimes in the evening, late in the evening if we want a snack, we get this. I catch my husband going in there getting it a lot. Now the recipe for this, it calls for two cucumbers, which it depends on the size. It depends on your family and how much you're going to eat. I'm using four medium-sized ones because I'm going to double my recipe. I'm going to give it to you in a single recipe and I'll have everything written down below so that when you get ready to make it, you'll know what it is. And um, that way you'll know how much to put in and then you can add more if you make a double or whatever. So now I've got my cucumbers all sliced up. I'm sure you've made this. If you haven't made it, I'm sure you've had it somewhere to eat because this is one of the oldest, I think, Southern cucumber salad recipes there is. Okay, I've got my cucumbers cut up. And then you take an onion. And you're supposed, the recipe calls for a half an onion, but I'm gonna use a whole one. I love this thing. Grant's always saying, you're gonna cut yourself, but I don't. I will someday though. I hope everybody's garden's going good. I know grandma, my grandma and my mom had this in their refrigerator all the time. I think my grandma had it on the table for dinner and supper every meal. Uh, from the time the cucumbers came on. Okay, we can take that ring off. So, but like I said, it's a, it's a good recipe. I don't take no time to make it. And it's delicious. Okay. I hope that'll be enough. And then we're just gonna Separate our onion. I 
I want to thank everybody for their cards, prayers, um, and everything for Greg when he lost his garden. Oh, that was so sad. I mean, I'm the mother, so I, I'm even sadder than most people over it. Uh, he worked so hard, but he'll have his fall garden in, and things happen. That's why I, he used to, years ago, not recently, but years ago, he'd say, why do you can so much, Mom? Well, now he knows firsthand because he said, no, they want to can for two to three years. I always did. And you never know when one year is not gonna turn out. And then get in there with your fingers and get this mixed up good. And get your onions and your cucumbers all together. There it is. My cow. Then all you're going to do now is just put your vinegar and salt and sugar in it um, and form a regular batch, not a double. You use one third cup of vinegar. Now, I'm going to get my sugar in there first so the vinegar goes down over it. So on it and you're supposed to use um, two tablespoons I mean four tablespoons so I'm going to use eight your family. Some of you may not use any. Um, the recipe calls for a teaspoon. So and then I'm going to put my vinegar in. That's one third cup of vinegar, which I'm using more. And you're going to stir it up good. Now, every day you're going to stir it because you're going to be getting into it, but you will want to keep stirring it a little bit to keep the vinegar and sugar and everything up in it. But anyway, it is the best stuff. You always want something in the fridge you can grab real quick and eat. And this is one of those things that you can grab real quick and eat. And my cutting board off a little bit but uh, I don't know if that might fit in my bowl now it might and it might not I don't know we're going to try it but like I was saying I sure hope everybody's garden's doing good mine's not too bad but Looks like I'm going to have some beans. I told Greg I'll share with him, which I always do. Oh my. There we go. That one just fell out. Mm. I'm telling you. Instead of sitting down with a bowl of popcorn tonight to watch TV, I'm going to sit down with cucumbers and onions because they're much better. You know, 
we had a family reunion last weekend. And like every family reunion, you always have too much food. So we sit at home with everybody. Now there's your cucumber salad. And I like putting it in a clear dish. You can see what's going on. See when you need to add a few more pieces of onion or cucumber to it. But we have our family reunion last Sunday and it was funny because as everybody, you, we had too much to eat. And um, I have, was boxing things up for people to take home with them. And my little five-year-old granddaughter, I said, what would you like? I said, here's cupcakes and pies and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And she says, do you have any cucumbers left? <laughs> and I, I should have known that from her. I said, yes, honey, we do. And I opened a veggie tray. And she says, well, how many do I take? And I said, whatever you want. So she <laughs> went in like this and was taking all of them. And I said, well, maybe not exactly whatever you want, but pretty much what you want. I'm going to taste this. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. There's nothing could be any better right now than this except a second bite. Mm. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm. That is so good. And I'll, I'll tell on myself at the reunion, my little four-year-old great-granddaughters looking at pictures. They made these big picture boards of all the family. And she's looking around at them. And my sister was there and Claire's, uh, Tina said, Claire, who's this? And she pointed at a picture of me <clears throat> back when I was much younger. And I had long, real long black hair. And she said, do you know who this is? And Claire looked at it and she looked at it again. She says, no, who is it, Aunt Tina? And Tina says, well, that's your mama. That's mama. And she got that far from it looking at it. And I, Tina motioned for me and I went over there. She, Claire looked up at me and she goes, mama, do you still have that black hair somewhere? <laughs> I thought to myself, oh, not hardly. I said, no, honey, my hair's not black anymore. And she got a big kick out of that. She just wanted that black hair. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. I could eat that whole bowl full, but I won't right now. I'll wait until it later. But I want to thank you all for joining me today. <clears throat> got vinegar in my throat. And uh, I know if you've got a garden, you've got cucumbers and onions. So make this up if you haven't made it. And if you have made it, make it again. Because I'm going to put a lid on this and set it in my refrigerator. And I'm going to eat on it for the next two days. And then I'll add more to it. But it's the simplest thing you can make. And once you taste it, you will love it. So try it because you're going to love it. And um, give us a thumbs up. So I appreciate you being with me today. I thank you bunches.